I guess the uh, the interception uh, early in the in the end zone there. Uh, you guys have generally been uh, you know excellent in the red zone, but on that play, did you feel like you forced it? You know, I think Mike said that might be one you'd like to have back. Uh, was that the, was that the case on that play? Yeah, no doubt. And I shouldn't. No way, I shouldn't made that throw. Uh, we were trying to get the ball, tight end little leak there, and uh, they did a good job covering it up. Tried to scramble, make something happen. Saw AJ throw up his hands, just my snap reaction, just let it rip. But there's no way I should uh, should make that throw. So just keep scrambling, and either uh, you know keep it on the ground, and run it, or uh, or throw it away. Totally on me. Jim. Ron, after a 5 0 start, you got how much do you feel like you guys have given two back, and how impaired is it to get, that you get things fixed in a hurry with a tough stretch coming up? Yeah, no doubt. We got we to clean a lot of things up. Um, definitely not how we wanted to come out and play today. You know, started off with turnover in the red zone and then uh, stalled out in the fringe multiple times throughout the day. So we have to be able to, uh, to sustain those drives. We were moving the ball pretty effectively. Uh, we crossed the 50, get there, uh, the, the 50 to the 40, and uh, and stall out several times. So we have to be able to, to keep moving the ball there, get into the red zone, and then, um, you know, finish in the end zone. So, um, you know, our, our guys kept battling, but we, we didn't do enough earlier in the game and being able to sustain those drives and, and get in the end zone. Luke? Ryan, we've seen so far this year the version of the Titans that blows out Buffalo and, and nicks out some close games early in the season. And then we've seen the version that today lost to a, a one-win team and that last week couldn't get it done against Pittsburgh. Who is this Titans team at heart and, and which version is closer to reality? Um, we're a team that believes in each other, that um, has all that we need within this locker room. We just have to clean some things up and be able to, to go out and, and play full games. You know, we, we've had stretches – We've played really great, um, whether it's finishing up games or, like you said, playing well for a full game. But we need to be able to, to finish those drives as an offense and, and just play consistent through four quarters. You know, we battled back, um, had a couple of good two-minute drives to, to put some points on the board, but it's too little too late. It, it really starts off earlier in the game being able to, to finish those drives that we were moving the ball and put it in the end zone. Terry? Ryan, this is the first week except maybe the opener against Denver where the offense has really looked kind of out of sync. What do you feel like was uh, some of the things that caused that today? Yeah, I don't really think we were out of sync. Uh, we were moving the ball effectively pretty much the whole day. We just uh, stalled out in the red, in the, uh, in the fringe, like I said. You know, we had a penalty there, um, had a drop, um, had a an opportunity on a third down and I wasn't able to uh, – to, to get humped the ball there. I was kind of getting tackled as I threw. So we had opportunities. Um, we're just uh, close, you know, just close to, to, to finishing those drives, keep, keeping those things going and, um, and finishing the end zone. So, you know, I don't think we felt out of, out of sync or anything like that. We were moving the ball, stringing some drives together, but we have to be able to finish better. Buck? Yeah, Ryan, uh, with, with this being the first time that you guys have been on the road uh, since Minnesota, was there, was there any, any kind of difference to you from playing the past couple games at home uh, to what you guys were able to do out there in a road game today? Uh, I don't think it, it affected anything. You know, obviously, it's been a little while, but you know, I don't think it had any effect. Paul? I know you say you've got uh, everything you need to, to do what you need to do in the locker room. You do have some newcomers who weren't part of what you did last year who don't seem to be meeting a standard or raising their game. Is that something that gets talked about? Or you count on guys to, to do that on their own? How's that work? Yeah, I mean, we have a standard and, and we um, do our best to, to hold every, every man to that. Um, you know, on offense, we've had some guys step up and, and play good football for us who we weren't here last year. Ty comes to mind, a guy who stepped in and, and played big for us. Um, Deontay made some big plays today for us. Jeremy, who was kind of in and out last year, has played well for us all year. So we have got guys uh, step in and, and play well for us. Uh, it's just a matter of, of being, like I said, more consistent you know, throughout the whole game. TD? Yeah, this week leading up to this game, was, was there talk uh, among you guys of, of not allowing this to be a letdown game and, and not allowing you to overlook them despite they were 1-5-1? and one? Yeah, no doubt. You know, we uh, we were clear and coming in here, we knew we were going to have to play well, and it's the NFL. There's no 
nothing that, that's given. Your records don't really mean anything when you roll out there on a Sunday. You have to go earn a win each and every week. So uh, we talked about it. We just didn't execute enough well enough to do it. Kayla? And then just to, if I could get one more, to, to spin it forward, uh, you know, you're a team that plays with a lot of swagger, a lot of confidence. What for you personally will be the key to keeping that confidence going as you get ready for the Bears and, and you know, further games in your season? Yeah, or just go back to work. You know, I think uh, that confidence is built throughout the week, um, being good in practice, executing in practice. And uh, we've had good practices, but just being able to, to transition that from, from practice over to the game, I think um, our guys will come out and play a lot of, with a lot of confidence next week, obviously hungry to, uh, to right the ship and, and get things moving in the right direction. Thank you. You all? Yeah, you mentioned – you guys have had good practices. Vrabel was very specific talking with us just now saying that change happens obviously in practice. That's where it happens. You guys barely had any practice before the Buffalo game. We clearly saw the result of that. Um, so you'd say the last two weeks you've been confident in the practices you guys have had. Yeah. I mean, I, I can only uh, evaluate what I'm seeing offensively and um, obviously it's not all perfect, right? I mean, that's why you practice is to, to get better, to, to make mistakes in practice and uh, correct it and, um, and execute. So really, you know, I've, I've been happy with the way the guys have, have come to practice with, with a focus and then being able to, um, if we do make a mistake, correct it and, and move on. So um, just a matter of, of staying with that, staying with the process of how we prepare mentally in the, in the meeting room, coming with a, a purpose each and every day transitioning that over to the practice field. Uh, when you execute there, then then it'll transition over to the game field. David? Ryan, everybody knows it's a tough game, but what what's the impact of, of Humphreys getting hurt like he did there? Does, does it take everybody a play or two to sort of shake that off? Yeah, no, we were uh, all emotional about that, you know, just seeing him being defenseless and, and getting hit in the head and neck area. You know, that's something that um, – I think is, is trying to be removed from the game. So, so to see that um, happen to him in a defenseless position really, you know, got everyone emotionally and um, yeah, definitely had to uh, take a couple, a couple seconds there to reset. Two more gentry. Yeah, Ryan, not to make excuses, but when the, when the wind is gusting the way it was out there today, and then you get in a situation late in the game where you've got to throw, I mean, how much more difficult does that make it? I mean, it was a factor, but, um, you know, I think we, as soon as we, we went to two minute and, um, and started throwing the ball, we, we were very effective and, and moved the ball down and finished in the end zone. So um, it was a factor, but yeah, I don't think it, it really affected us too much.